I've been making wine uh, in New Zealand since 1982, and uh, I've been involved in Melbourne since 1995. Well, when we uh, started the company, it was a group of four friends, my wife and myself, and two very close friends, another couple. Astrolabe is the name of a ship sailed by a famous French navigator, de Montdeville, who sailed around this part of the world in the 1820s. But the other uh, aspect of the name Astrolabe that appealed to me was the fact that it was named after a navigational instrument, something that uh, had qualities of uh, exploration and, and seeking. Part of what Astrolabe was trying to do is to champion those sub-regional wines, get them to the market, tell the story and just make the whole Marlborough scene a wee bit more complex and a wee bit more vibrant. I don't like to interfere too much with the fruit and character coming from the vineyard, but we spend a lot of time tuning the vineyards to achieve the very best result we can. For me, the key things really are purity and a sense of place, complexity from blending many different sites together. Our main production is in the Voyage range, which is a blend of wine made from sites from all over Marlborough. It tells the classic Marlborough story. We take parcels of fruit such as this and blend it with other parcels in the other valleys to put together a coherent whole, which is very, very typical of Marlborough, of the best that Marlborough can be. We also have another range called Discovery, which is really is telling the story of the sub-regions. We have in that range uh, the Kikaringu wine, we have the Awateri Sauvignon Blanc, uh, the Grovetown Riesling, these wines that are all about a specific place. The third range that we have is the Experience range, which is all about uh, the winemaker having a play, and it's all about single vineyard wines that have been hand-picked and whole cluster pressed and fermented with wild yeast. And so they're a great little play thing for me, uh, and allow me to step outside the square and do uh, wild and wonderful things that uh, really aim for the, uh, for the connoisseur. The sites like the one behind me are, uh, are all about you know, pushing the boundaries, finding different flavour profiles on different soils and different climates, different aspects, so that we can blend small components together to make a more complex and more exciting whole. This is a, uh, a wonderful example of, uh, of little niche sites that you can find hidden away, tucked up very high on a high altitude, protected from the winds, from the sea, and from the hot, dry nor'westerlies. You can see the Pacific Ocean out in front of it. Yeah, I'm very passionate about Sauvignon Blanc. It's a fantastic variety. It really hits the spirit of the times. We should be able to see the fruit from the vine in the wine. So all my efforts are about capturing the the raw material from the vineyard, taking it through the process and keeping it as pure and as harmonious and balanced as it can be. I see myself as the link between the winemaker and contract grower base that we have. We've got 17 growers dotted throughout the Greater Marlborough region. Here with this site is just one of our showpiece Pinot Noir blocks. The Pinot Noir is the ultimate and uh, you know, here we have nine different clones on the one site that we're dealing with. We've got uh, different rootstock combinations. Our main focus is to try and get evenness of maturity on the, off the fruit at the end of the day. That equates to about three quarters of our vineyard area that we source from is Vignon Blanc, and then roughly 10% each of, of Pinot Noir and Pinot Gris, and then the remaining small portions of Chardonnay, Gewürztraminer, and Riesling as well. Astrolabe is uh, interested only in, in selling to one particular part of the market and that's a very small part, that's the restaurant scene and the fine wine end of the market. For us it's been exciting to see our wine being drunk on the best restaurant tables in places like London and Dublin and, and Hong Kong and Singapore and Australia and New Zealand as well. Just delivering a glass of uh, something that's wonderful and vibrant and speaks of, of the whole region of Marlborough.